It's a problem that continues to be widespread among colleges across the U.S. Conservative students being silenced or so-called canceled for their beliefs. But what happens when this cancel, cancel culture turns into vile bullying and death threats? I spoke with one student, Justine Murray, who is a campus reform correspondent and Syracuse University student who is dealing with just that. Take a look. Justine Murray is a Syracuse University student who is set to begin her senior year this fall. But those plans are now on hold after she received death threats from fellow students for defending her Jewish professor. Murray told One American News most of the harassment began after she published a Twitter thread on June 20th defending Professor Miriam Elman, who received anti-Semitic messages in her school account, which included a number of expletives and called her a, quote, white supremacist Jew. And I felt like this was my obligation to stand up for her because I'm also Jewish, and this also affects all Jewish people on campus. But students quickly turned to harass me. They launched a whole campus hate mob to dox me, to not just oust me for being a Zionist Jew on campus, but for my conservative beliefs. Murray acknowledged students have a right to free speech. But she noted the cancel culture and harassment only worsened after publishing two op-eds trying to raise awareness about the misinformation and anti-Semitism on two Instagram pages, Black at Q's and BIPOC dot Syracuse. This immediately launched into death threats and calls for my uh, releasing my address. One page entitled Bossy Kills Justine Brooke Murray directly, specifically targeted to harass and send death threats to me. He called to not just release my address, but to douse me in acid, to have me cut up in pieces. Look at Syracuse University's policies show members of the Syracuse University community are prohibited from engaging in harassment, which is defined as unwelcome conduct or speech or severe or pervasive that it interferes with an individual's work performance or creates an intimidating, hostile, or offensive environment for study, work, or social living. Marie told One American News she reported the remarks to the chancellor and other officials at Syracuse University, but no action has been taken. They started spilling, well, we did find out uh, one of the death threats you received came from Los Angeles. but. They never told me any of this information until after I had to approach them, until after I found this out from the other student receiving death threats. And they promised to keep me posted on details of the investigation. But since my last call with them, with that promise, they have never followed up. When you were writing these articles, were you worried about whether your points would be taken the wrong way or out of context? A little bit because I was already see, receiving threats and hate mail from students, but I realized that I wasn't writing those articles for the students who are already harassing me. And who, no matter what I write or say, they will purposely try to take it out of context just to target me. One American News reached out to Syracuse University to comment on the matter, but did not receive a response. Meantime, Murray did highlight a silver lining throughout this ordeal receiving support from other students and professors who shared their stories with her. Just the fact that I was able to inspire one person to come out about their story on campus, one professor to, to open up about the bias that they've faced on campus and to provide that support and to show that, hey, there are people on campus who stand with you, who stand up for free speech, and even though there might be a few of them, at least they exist. However, Murray's experience is not an outlier, as many college students have reported experiencing similar reactions to their conservative beliefs. And just a quick update, Murray says she does not plan to step foot back on campus until next spring at the earliest. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.